Hi, I'm Troy and you're watching TroyTube. In this video, we're going to talk about adding pop-ups and slide-ins to your website. We're going to do this with WordPress using a plugin called Hustle. It's a great plugin. I've been using it for a really long time. Again, there's probably multiple plugins that do all similar functions, maybe more advanced or less uh, advanced features. Uh, so I'd encourage you to explore and look at the different plugins, but Hustle is the one I use. It allows me to uh, provide slide-ins from the side or the bottom. Usually I do them from the bottom to catch the attention of the visitor of your website. Now, when it comes to pop-ups and slide-ins, you want to be a little bit careful with overusing these and using them to um, obfuscate your actual web page. So when you go to some websites, a pop-up comes up, and until you close it, you can't get anywhere on the website. And the, the search engines tend to look negatively upon those types of pop-ups, especially if they're on your site all the time. If you're running a one-day sale, that might be a different story and uh, it's not, not that big of a deal. But if you're running pop-ups and slide-ins that you know, kind of take control of your page. You know, we used to call these modal boxes where you can't do anything until you click the box or closed it uh, to get to, you know, the things behind it. And I, I guess the, the line is drawn as, as to whether or not it can be annoying to the person visiting the website. And what I like about Hustle is it allows me to do the slide-ins, it gives me really good control over them, and it also gives you some settings to control things, like uh, you know only show it to the person once a day, or once they close it, never show it to them again, and, and different settings like that. So uh, we'll switch over to the computer, get started. To get started, we're gonna go install the plugin for Hustle. So we'll go to the plugins, and click Add New, and we'll search for Hustle. And you should see the first one come up as a Hustle email marketing lead generation opt-ins and pop-ups. We'll install that plugin, and as soon as it's installed, we will activate it. Once the plugin's activated, you'll notice it added a menu item over here on the left. So we'll click on that and go to Dashboard. And of course, you'll get the uh, little pop-up that wants to take you on a tour to get started. So if you want, you can go through that. I'm going to skip it. And this is where we uh, have our choice of whether we're going to do pop-ups, embeds, or slide-ins. Again, I uh, would caution you to be careful with pop-ups and the amount that you use pop-ups because uh, you know the amount of obfuscation that a pop-up does when it takes over your page and doesn't let users click on any content until they interact with the pop-up. Search engines do not you know, like that very much. So they do kind of take away from your search engine optimization a little bit when it comes to uh, your rankings for implementing those kind of pop-ups. Now, if you're going to do a pop-up for a sale for a day or two or something like that, that's a different story. But if you're going to have them all the time, be very careful which pages you put those on and how you use them. And we're going to use the slide in feature and that's the one that I like to use. So I'm going to create a slide in. And I'm going to call this slide in one and this is going to be an informational slide in and you can choose from you know some different templates but I'm going to choose to start from scratch and for the title I'm going to put learn WordPress and for the subtitle I'm going to put build your own website or blog and we're going to upload a feature image and this is optional. I've already uploaded an image for this and I'm just using one of my thumbnails from my uh, YouTube videos for this uh, slide in. And then if you want you can add some comment. And I'm going to put a call to action. And I'm going to put the button uh, here and call it uh, watch a video. I'm going to paste in the link to my YouTube video playlist. If you want, you can uh, specify that they have a never see this again link. And we'll go to the appearance. And we're going to say uh, we want this. Uh, we're going to leave it defaulted. We're going to leave some of these things defaulted. You can choose uh, where to fit it and horizontal position and everything. Uh, you can change your typography, your colors spacing borders you can enable custom CSS to give it a custom look if you'd like and you can 
uh, specify visibility rules. So you can choose which pages or types of pages uh, you want this particular slide in to appear on. That way you can build multiple sliders, have different uh, things to happen on different pages or different posts. And if we want, we can uh, set a schedule. We can choose uh, delay. We'll give it a three second delay. Or we could choose to uh, you know, trigger it after a 20% page scroll. If there is a click, if someone's trying to exit the page, uh, or if there's an ad block uh, to show immediately. And we're going to choose the slide in position from the bottom center. And you can choose either sides or the top. We can auto close the slide in after a specified amount of time. Or we can close the slide in after someone has clicked the button uh, for the call to action. And we can allow the user to click a little X icon to uh, close it. Uh, and if they close it, what happens then? Uh, do not show this on this page. Do not show it across the site. Or keep showing. So I'm going to leave it this one for this example on keep showing. And visibility after they click on this, we're going to keep showing this since it's a basically an ad to get people to visit my uh, video playlist. And we will publish the slide in. And it's that simple. It's ready to go. Now if we go to the front side of our website and view the web page, after three seconds we should see the slide in pop in here. And there it is. And if I click that button, it will take me to my YouTube channel. Uh, with my playlist and I can close that and adding a slider to your site is that simple and so this uh, image is the uh, little thumbnail that I had pre-uploaded before I started the tutorial uh, you know here's the title here's the uh, the uh, secondary blurb that I've typed in and then here's the main content of the slide in So if we go back and look at our content now, uh, if we go back to Hustle, now that we have some content saved in here, uh, here's the dashboard again. Uh, if we go to the pop-ups, of course I don't have any pop-ups or embeds at the moment, but if I go to the slide ins, you see that uh, this slide in is published, and I could add more than one slide in here as well. And another nice feature of Hustle is the social sharing uh, feature. So uh, if I go here and do create, I'll just put social on here for a title. And then I can click add platform. I can choose Facebook, Twitter, add platform, display options. Uh, where do you want this to little toolbar to display at? I'm just going to leave everything defaulted here to get it on the website and show you how to do it. And there's more options here, drop shadow, inline counter, animate icons, and so forth. Uh, so we'll go to visibility. And again, you can choose where you're going to put this on your website uh, based on different conditions. Now if I go over here and look at the front end of my website, not only do I have my slider, I have my uh, toolbar up here where I can share this on social media. And of course it's going to ask me to log in uh, when I share that so my browser knows where uh, to share that to. There are some integrations available for uh, Hustle, so you can use this with things like uh, MailChimp and uh, Constant Contact and other uh, email services to do email marketing. You can use it to build your email lists. And there are settings here for the module, uh, or the plugin rather, where you can uh, customize and modify. Uh, different settings for the plugin as well. So, won't really go into all that detail, but there is a pro version you can pay for and get more features. Uh, for example, unlimited modules, uh, white label plugins, premium WordPress plugins, uh, a lot of different things here, including support. So, you might want to give that a look and see if uh, you can use the uh, if the paid and pro version is uh, more suitable for what you need. Again, this is one option. There are many options that do pop-ups and slide-ins and things. Uh, I do like Hustle. I've been using it for a while. It seems to work really well, and uh, I exclusively use it for just the slide-in feature. So uh, I, I really uh, like the way it presents things and the control that it gives me and conditioning for different
different pages and how I want to display those to my users or have it not displayed to the user once they closed it while they're on my site and then when they return it comes back again and reminds them so it, it's kind of nice in that regard so that it doesn't bug your users or annoy them but it does get uh, things in front of them without being too invasive so if you have any questions or comments post them down below